Hey guys, what is going on? This is Matt here, and welcome to the first part of how to make your own custom zombies map on the PC. This is for World at War on PC, of course. So then, guys, before we get started, though, can I just ask you guys to make sure that you've got your World at War installed on your computer and all the updates installed. Now, if you don't have the updates, you know, 1.1 to 1.7. Um, the links will be in, in the description of, the, of this video, so you need to just download them 1.1, um, 1.2, all the way up to 1.7 and um, install them in the exact same order. So obviously you know 1.1 first and 1.7 last. So then guys, once you've got all your updates all installed and your games fully installed and things like that, you up to date them. You need to download these four files. Now for these two files here, these two links, the Darius mod tools and the prototype mod tools, you will need to create an account on this website, zombiemodding.com. Now, it is a really, really useful site to be using. Um, as you can see, I'm logged in there. But yeah, guys, um, you will need to create an account to um, to download these two files. Um, it only takes like two minutes or to do, so it's not exactly some massive thing. <laughs> so yeah, so as soon as you created an account, make sure you download them two files. And also create, create I mean, also download these two files here as well, guys. Um, Nazi Zombie Tutorial V2.0 and Script Placer 1.3. So then, once you've got all them downloaded, you'll um, just put them wherever you want onto your computer. I've got them in my custom mapping folder. So then, once you've got these, you want to put your Script Placer um, just out of the way for the moment because we won't actually be using that yet. Um, the only ones we'll be using is the Tutorial, Prototype, and Darius Mod Tools. So then, you need to open up your Call of Duty root directory, which is, for me, this is by this path. This is for um, if you installed it on, from a disk, um, you know, you would at one. If you installed it from Steam, um, I'm not too sure how to find it, uh, you know, how to find this um, folder, but you pretty much just go into the place where the game was installed. So the place where, you know, where you picked for the game to be installed, just go into that folder. And um, yeah, you'll find a load of files. Now you won't have this many files. I've I've got this many because I already map, and I've already done all this. So yeah. So what you need to do now is you need to run this prototype um, file, prototype.exe. You need to run that, and then it will give you this this folder with three parts. Okay, so you need to install part by part, all in order. So part one, part two, then part three. And as soon as that they've all been installed. Oh, by the way, when you do install them. Make sure you have it um, running as an administrator, or else it, you know, you might have some files that might be missing just because it doesn't have the, you know, like the correct um, access level. I suppose you could call it. You know, you need to give it all the permissions it can, you know, it needs. So then, once you got them all installed, you will basically be okay now to create your own map, but you won't be able to put any perks into it, any teleporters or anything like that. It'll literally be everything you have in Nazar and Tolton. So, you know, on the first map. So then, as soon as you've installed all that, you then need to open up your Darius mod tools. As you can see, oh, one second. As you can see, I've got it just here. So then, you need to highlight this. Don't highlight that part there, because that's something else. You only need to highlight these. Um, that folder, that, that goes back to your, um, your, you know, wherever you stored it, but ignore that. Um, you then need to drag and drop it into your root directory. Or, or you can just extract it and copy them over, whichever way you want. But basically, you need the files from here to go into your root directory. Um, I'm not doing it because obviously I've already done it and I don't want to mess anything up. So then, once you've done that, you then need to do the exact same for Nazi Zombie Tutorial V2.0. But this time, you obviously, you need to open the file up and then drag the file in like that. So then, once you've done all that, you've pretty much done everything now. Now, you will want to create some... Here, yeah, one second. There we go. You will want to create some shortcuts, um, just so it's easier, pretty much, you know, to um, open the software up in. And to do that, you go into your directory, go to the bin folder, and you'll find um, two files. Well, two files that we need anyway. You'll find launcher and cod radiant um, there. Now, most people just create a shortcut with both, you know, with both of these files, but I found the Radiant to be a little bit glitchy and sometimes it can screw up your map. Um, that's happened to me before, basically the, the map hasn't saved properly, um, although it said it saved, it hasn't done for some reason. And the only fix I know for that is if you run if you run Radiant through the launcher. 
So, for this um, video, I'm only going to tell you guys to actually make a shortcut for the launcher. I've got it on my start menu, just so it's easy for me to access. So yeah, just make a shortcut for the launcher somewhere, somewhere where, where you go remember where it is, on your taskbar maybe, I don't know. And then as soon as you've done that, you're pretty much then ready for the next video, where we'll be actually opening Radium. I'll be teaching you how to create your map files. And hey guys, say a massive thank you to everyone who's watching this. Hopefully it has helped you guys. Remember, if you've got any questions, please leave them down below. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys later.